Salsa Design Robot Studio tutorials. Um, the, today we're going to show you how to import SolidWorks models and assemblies into Robot Studio. So I wanted to show inside SolidWorks I have a box with a hole, I have a peg, so those two are part files. I have an assembly that puts the box and the peg together, and then I have another assembly that takes um, the box and the peg assembly and puts it onto a plate. So I don't have this as a as a uh, floating object inside SolidWorks or a flexible object. I just didn't do that. So as we come over, sorry, I'm going to go back over it into SolidWorks. So you can see in the tree that you have, you have an assembly with a part file, and then you have an assembly with two part files. So if I come over into Robot Studio and I go Import Geometry and I select what I want to import and this is the peg assembly, I'm even going to select this Link to Geometry. It doesn't really do much at an assembly level but I, um, but I do it anyway. So open that up and it imports in. You can see it imports in all the colors, everything. But the thing to take note is how it imported in, is it came in as a group with a part and another group underneath that group with two parts. So the exact same thing that we have over in SolidWorks, that's how it gets imported into Robot Studio. You have to link these, like the, it has this updated or update linked geometry. Well, right now, the parts are not linked. So what we need to do is we need to come in and we need to link them. So you got the base, I can link the box with the hole, I can create a link, and then the stand with the peg, I can also come into here and create a link to it. So now all the parts are linked together. So if I come over into SolidWorks and I wanna make a change, I can change the the length or the width of my pedestal, I can save that off. Obviously it has to be saved, but I come back over and at the top level I can update linked geometry now that I have it all linked and you can see that it updates it automatically. So I can even come in and at the, you know, open this up and at the part level I can come in change my appearance to be something else. Let's make it, uh, I don't know, let's make it purple. Oh, wow, that's a little bright. Let's make it purple. Save that off. So now inside SolidWorks, it's updated to that. I can come over here. Sorry, I wanna make sure that it is saved. Come over here, update linked geometry. And you can see that it updates it. So pretty powerful. You can change things in SolidWorks. You can have it linked into Robot Studio. The only thing that you can't do is on the assembly level, if I was to come in and make the, the box and the peg a flexible subassembly, and I was able to take this and you know rotate the box and then save it off, and then come over and update my link geometry over here, Unfortunately, it doesn't do anything. So that's the part that doesn't happen yet. You can't update mates inside Robot Studio. But as far as any dimension that you wanna change, like I can come back into SolidWorks and I can come in and make this six inches tall. So now I got this big box sitting in there and then I can save it. And then when I come over here and I update it, it updates it to the right uh, geometry. So hope that helps. Um, just talks a little bit about SolidWorks and importing those models and assemblies into Robot Studio.